The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you very much for it's time to feed. I'll be very briefly from your word and on your word. Feed us and teach us in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving. Well, um, in North America, the, uh, you know, especially in the U.S., it's uh, last Thursday of the month of November, that's Thanksgiving, uh, in Canada it's I think it's last Thursday of October, but here we are in our own dear country, every day is a day of Thanksgiving, and those who are wise will always see the need to give thanks to God, Thanksgiving should be a part and a parcel of our daily lives, of our daily walk with God, the Bible says be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with Thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. So thanksgiving is what we live by, is what we show forth every single day of our lives. Thanksgiving is what the Lord expects of us uh, because of his goodness unto us. Uh, let me read uh, uh, some portions of scriptures unto us because this season is the season of giving thanks to God. Um, Somebody is saying, uh, isn't he aware that there's an economic recession in Nigeria right now? Yes, there may be a recession in the country, but you have God's attention. God's attention is greater than the recession. He will see us through this recession. This is not the first time there's going to be a recession. It may not even be the last. But we know this, that God never forsakes his own. God never forsakes the righteous. Okay? Psalm 107 verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 118 verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endure it forever. Psalm 136 verse 1, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endure it forever. Now the Bible says in the mouth of two or three witnesses, let every matter be established. We've seen three places where it says, uh, give thanks, oh, give thanks. It's the commandment. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Why? For he is good. He is flawless. He is kind. He is totally good in his dealings with us and his mercies endure forever. Meaning tough times will come but those tough times don't change his mercies. Meaning challenges will come but those challenges cannot change his mercies. Now his mercies are his revelation of his nature unto us. So his love, his favor, his faithfulness, his sweetness, his beauty, his richness are all encapsulated in his mercy. The fact that he's the healer, he's the provider, he's the deliverer, he's our helper, they are all rooted in the fact that his mercies endure forever. Now, if his mercies endure forever, his healings endure forever, his preservation endures forever, his provision endures forever. In other words, all those things are ours forever. Now, should we not give thanks unto the Lord who has been so kind, who has been so gracious, who has been so merciful to us in the year 2020? The wise will always give thanks. And guess what? Thanksgiving is thanks living. Today, thanksgiving should be a choice. Choose to give thanks. Thanksgiving should be deliberate. Be deliberate about giving thanks. Thanksgiving is even a solution. Maybe you are not happy with where you are. Do you know the way to get out of it is thanksgiving? Thanksgiving will bring you victory. Thanksgiving will give you a new song to sing. It will give you a new story to tell. Join us tomorrow for Thanksgiving. We do it once a year in our church for the whole church and you will be blessed and you will be glad. God bless you. See you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vine Brand Church, Queen School Road, Apata Giari for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.